Hello, my name's Michael J, and my YouTube account was just hacked. I mean, I lost all 180,000 of my subscribers in a blink of an eye, and YouTube was doing nothing to help me get it back. They were going to make me wait weeks, and at one point even told me to just create a new account. So I'm making this video because, as you can see, I'm not hacked anymore. I figured it out, and I want to share my story and help raise awareness to hopefully help prevent this from happening to other creators, and I want this to also act as a guide. So if anyone's going through this right now, I want you to be able to look through this video and figure out how to best handle the situation. It sucks. I'm going to give you all the links that YouTube sent me and show you what they're going to tell you to do as well as how you can help them help you before weeks go by and you still don't have your channel back. Because that's a very real thing. And in just a few days of being hacked, I heard a lot of stories coming from creators losing their channels for weeks or months in some cases with no help from YouTube. So let's see what we can do to avoid that, shall we? And on top of everything else, this is also a creator letter to YouTube itself asking them why on earth they have no solid resource for helping creators out who are going through this right now when it's such a big problem. I want this video to give you everything you need so you can just speed run this process if you ever have to go through it yourself. If you know of anyone who's being hacked right now, send them this video. I really hope it helps. I wish I had this video for when I was going through this. It's hard. They might not seem like it, but there's a really good chance they're freaking out right now on the inside. And this video is meant to help ease a lot of their concerns, their stresses, and hopefully answer a lot of their questions that they'll have right now. This situation is literally a creator's nightmare. It's the thing you see happening to other creators all the time and you're just like, oh, that could never happen to me. I'm not a main character. And then it does and it completely flips your world upside down just when you realize how little you can actually do to get it back and how hard it is to contact YouTube and get them to help in a timely manner. Google is literally a trillion dollar company and they have no easy fix for this. There's no easy solution. You literally just send out a tweet and have to pray to the Twitter gods that YouTube's Twitter team will notice you. This is the first time they've ever actually gotten back to me on anything and I'm pretty sure a big part of why they reached out in the first place is because of how many of my big creator friends had to step in and straight up call them out and tell them to help me out. Which I want to stop and say a big thank you to all the people that spoke out and helped me get YouTube's attention. I'm so thankful that I have these connections and that I made a Discord a few months ago because without all the support I was lucky enough to receive, I don't think I would have gotten YouTube's attention. So thank you. Thank you to everyone who helped me get my channel back. And also, really quick, this video is sponsored by me! Just a friendly reminder that I'm launching my Patreon in my very first merch today! I'm so excited, and this goes right along with the video today, because unfortunately, I have all my eggs in one basket. All 180,000 of my eggs are sitting here in my YouTube basket. Which is great, more eggs the better, but if something happens to it, like it gets hacked or something, like it just did, I'm out everything. I've got 2,000 eggs in my Discord right now, which I'm super proud of, but it's time for me to spread out a little bit, so please go follow me on Twitch at It's Michael J. I just started streaming, go follow my second YouTube channel, It's Michael J. I just created in case anything happens to this one, and that's it. Go buy my merch, support me on Patreon, and uh, I'll talk about them a little bit more at the end of the video, but yeah, that's it. Let's get back into the video. Okay, so believe it or not, this all started about a month ago when I received this email from a Rose Gilmore asking me to promote their new game called Walenda. And as I normally do when I receive these types of emails, I did some research before responding to see if it was even worth my time. I looked up the game, seemed legit, looked up her email and saw it was the company making the game with a legit Twitter, so cool, alright, let's see what they want. I had her explain a little bit about they wanted me to promote, and then the first weird thing about this encounter was that she asked me to continue the conversation on Discord. At the time, I had no idea why, it just seemed a little weird slash unprofessional, and that was the first thing that made me the slightest bit cautious. But that alone wasn't enough to be the sole deterrent here, so I hit her up on Discord and we kept talking about the game, which by the way, I'm pretty certain it wasn't a part of this in any way. I've heard of other scammers using unreleased games as promotional bait to get creators interested, so please watch out for that. They'll usually ask you to do it in a very short amount of time too, like she wanted me to have the video done three days after I agreed to do it. Um, that was the second little red flag. And I think she had me hit her up on Discord because if she would have sent the links to the game in an email, Google would have flagged them as suspicious. But I just now figured that out. Um, the first message on Discord was all these instructions and then two links, which were said to be two different versions of the game, which... I have no idea why it didn't affect the hacking thing at all, but the third red flag is that she sent me mega links. You can upload anything to mega and they won't care. Usually in business deals, the client will upload their files to Google Drive or Dropbox, something universally trusted. But you know what? Google Drive will also tell you that those files look kind of sus. So hence the mega links. 
Me, being dumb, went ahead and downloaded the file, and that's when I saw the fourth little red flag. And honestly, this is the point where I should have just stopped and been a lot more cautious. I mean, it was already on my computer, but I think it was when I ran the program that it started everything. I went ahead and pulled up Task Manager before I ran it just to watch, and sure enough, as soon as the stupid past me clicked on it, a weird program popped up in Task Manager, and after like 30 seconds of nothing, I just force closed everything. I deleted everything from my computer and then started a 13 hour long full computer scan with malware bytes. I deleted the hidden trojans, the keygens, everything I could when it was finished. But looking back, I don't know why I didn't do this before I ran the program, but after I started the scan, I went over to virustotal.com, which is a website that scans files to see if they contain any viruses, malware, trojans, anything, you name it. And sure enough, I scanned the file and this is what I got back. Cryptor X Gen, a ransomware trojan, great. MSL Cryptic, another trojan, it was just one after another. This is when I had proof that I screwed up. It was a few trojans, I wasn't really sure what all they could do, so out of curiosity, I went into the recycle bin and searched through the file's properties to see if I could get any more info on the file or the hacker, and I found this name, Dominic Reichel. I don't know how to pronounce that properly. So I took to Google, and as I was typing it in, a search result came up with his name in 2.44 after it. Usually that's a version of software or something, not the greatest thing to see, so I clicked that, and sure enough, this guy made a program called KeyPass Password Safe. I know, super creative, but it's a program that stores all your passwords. Nice. And now it's on my computer storing my passwords. So with that, I deleted the file off of my computer and from then on, I never entered my password into any websites for the next week or so. And I didn't need to log into YouTube. So each time I logged into something else that used the same password, I just changed the password to something different so I didn't have to enter my existing password. I got rid of the program, reported the account to Discord and the email to another site. And after a few weeks passed and nothing happened, I thought it was fine until last Friday. I woke up, went to the laptop to check my emails, look at YouTube analytics or whatever, and for some reason, I got hit with the sign-in page. I tried entering my password, and then I saw it. Your password was changed three hours ago. Immediate dread hit me like a train. I knew I messed up, and now this nightmare of a situation is actually happening to me. Immediately, I went to recover the account, but when it offered to send a link to the recovery email, I noticed whoever was inside the account had already changed it. So then you can send a link to your phone number, and sure enough, they changed that too. I had zero way to access or recover my account, and I had no one to turn to. I found a random Google support number that's used for the business suite package, so I gave them a call while I searched through the internet for some link to chat with live support or some way to work on getting my channel back. And after an hour and a half of waiting for someone to pick up, I finally got connected to a real person and it sounded like they were gonna help and we started talking about the issue and then we got disconnected. I tried so hard not to get mad or frustrated. I simply redialed and waited another hour and a half Finally, someone else picked up and we started talking about the same thing and then we got to a point and then disconnected. Again, mid-sentence, just gone. At this point, everything's starting to build up and get to me. The hackers haven't done anything to the channel yet, but there's still no one who's been able to help me make any progress on getting my channel back and I can't do anything on my own, so just keep trying. I ended up calling Sprint for the next two hours trying to figure out why I keep getting disconnected, only to unlock a whole new slew of problems with my phone. But I had been working on all this for about four hours until I got this Discord notification on my phone from a bot in my server saying that Michael J had posted a video. Yeah, that's me. I'm Michael J, and I didn't post a video. As soon as I saw that notification, my heart sank. I got to my YouTube page as soon as I could, and sure enough, the hackers were streaming a Bitcoin wallet scam to my 80,000 live viewers. My channel wasn't Michael J anymore, it was Ledger Beta. And I'll tell you what, I'm a pretty happy person and this is the saddest I've been in a long time. To see all that I've worked for on this channel to be just gone in an instant, just inaccessible was really hard. Just like every other creator, I had to work extremely hard for each one of these 180,000 people that I gained enough trust from to hit that subscribe button. And now they're okay with me sending notifications to their phone each time I choose to upload a video. That's a lot. And to sit on the sidelines helplessly while these hackers advertise scam products to my audience was really hard. That killed me inside. To make matters worse, I had no one to tell about this. As many of you know, no one in my real life really knows what I do. I tell them I do marketing with Google. They don't really know that I do YouTube, so I can't turn to them and be like, I'm going through a tough time right now. I'm being hacked. Can we hang out or something? Thankfully, I had a few mods that were free that were hanging out with me and helping me get through this because YouTube was just giving me no strands of hope. 
I'm here on my own, in my head, with my own thoughts, and there's nothing I can do to fix the problem. So, as a last resort, I took a screenshot and tweeted this out to YouTube, hoping that by some miracle, YouTube's Twitter team would notice me. And let me tell you what, I am so thankful that I decided to open a Discord server a few months ago because without their support, all I would have is a few followers on Twitter. If there's one thing that we all know is very true about YouTube, is that they very heavily prioritize their larger creators. Like, if you don't have a million subs, good luck getting anybody to help you. It's a problem. Finally, after my wonderful Discord server showed up with their support as well as some of my creator friends, YouTube finally reached out and DM'd me, and this is what they had to say. Keep in mind this is nothing like live chat support. This is like trying to text your crush at 3am while they're ignoring you so that you want them more. And getting emails from them is even worse. For some reason, they only send you emails between 3 and 5am. So if you don't respond almost immediately, you're going to have to wait another 24 hours before you can get a response. But nonetheless, after 40 minutes of talking to them, that's just 6 messages by the way, they sent me this form to fill out to report to creator support that my account was hijacked. This will be link number 1 in the description for any of you who need it. After all that, they send me this form that someone from my Discord sent me an hour prior. A random subscriber provided better support than YouTube itself did. I had some problems filling out the info about my AdSense account because, you know, I was hacked and didn't have access to it, so if you're in this situation, they just told me to put this in to fill in the blank. And if you're having trouble finding your channel ID, look through all your social medias where you might have posted it before. I think that's how I found mine, but... After I filled this out, they basically said, thanks, now just wait for someone to get back to you. And I'm pissed because YouTube still hasn't taken down the hacker stream, which now has reached 106,000 viewers while they're promoting a scam to my audience. I ask YouTube if they can expedite the process or move any faster, and they basically tell me it'll take a few weeks to confirm all the details. A few weeks? To receive an update? Are you kidding me? I think three hours later, I received an email from Creator Support saying that they're looking into it, and while they are, they went ahead and hit all my videos and streams from search discovery so thank you for that and by the way no one can talk to the internal team there's a creator support team and then there's the internal team they're called the creator support team is like the greeter at the front door of best buy they know where they work but all they can really do is say hi and point you to where the geek squad is creator support are the ones that will send your case to the internal team which is the team that's actually going to push the buttons and help you you just can't talk to them you'll have to go through creator support to get to them just a little frustrating but don't forget while all this is happening the hackers are still streaming to 100,000 viewers and i'm freaking out because youtube is telling me it'll be weeks before my account details are confirmed the hacker streamed for seven hours. Seven hours! I could have written a fan fiction about contacting creator support in that time. And everyone on my channel was confused, so they were going to the community tab and talking about how the channel was hacked until the hackers caught on and deleted the last eight months of my community posts. And once they did that, it just hit me with a new level of sad. I wasn't sure if all those things could be recovered and now the hackers were showing they weren't afraid to start deleting things. We figured out they had just privated all my videos, but still, I didn't want them to start deleting all my videos now because everyone was talking about me being hacked. I didn't know how much YouTube's team would actually be able to recover. So five in the morning, I receive an email from creator support saying that the internal team confirmed that I was indeed hacked and that wasn't me that was in control of my account. And then they sent me some very helpful steps on how to recover my channel. I actually felt like this was going to be the email that got my account back. So everyone listen up, but boy was I wrong. <laughs> they went ahead and started with, here's how to instantly recover your account. Go to this link and sign in. It's literally just the normal Google sign-in page. Why would you send me this? Are you trying to be funny? Do you think I'm stupid? They're acting like I haven't tried signing into my account using my password and that's the issue. So I skip the BS and go to step two, which is delayed manual recovery. I was like, great, this is the way that will take two weeks, but at least I'll get it back, right? Nope, it's the same link from step one. It just took me to the sign-in page again and they were acting like it was something different. Here, I'm gonna put the links that they gave me in the description just so you can go try it out for yourself. Link two is account recovery page from step one. Link three is the special account recovery page from step two. Go ahead, amuse yourself, see how much YouTube cares. It blows my mind that this is the professional email I got from this trillion dollar company. I responded and said that I needed some real help now and sooner than later, please. Um, if you guys have confirmed that my account has been hijacked and that it's not me in the account, What's stopping you from signing them out and giving me access? And only now did they ask me to send over an email for them to contact me at. And I was like, 
How do you think we're talking right now? This is my email. Use this email, please. Send it to the internal team ASAP so we can get this thing moving because at this point, it was already day three of being hacked by Bitcoin scammers. Three days and they're only just now asking me where internal can contact me. Can you believe it? I can. I feel like I need to take a break. I'm getting heated and I'm trying to stay neutral and just explain things, but whew, it was hard in the moment. This third day was extremely hard for me. I was going to sleep at 3, 4 a.m. and waking up at 7 or 8 in the morning so I could respond to the emails from creator support as fast as I could in hopes of them sending me one back before 24 hours had passed. I was at the point where I had done everything that I could and all I could do was sit around helplessly and wait for YouTube to get back to me. I unfortunately was neglecting to exercise. I was mentally, emotionally, and physically exhausted and this was still the only thing I could think about. One piece of advice for anyone who's going through this right now is go ahead, do as much as you can, and then find something to do with your time. Something productive if you need, or something to distract yourself at the very least. If you can work out, go work out. If you can't do that, go for a walk for 15 minutes. Get out of the house, get some fresh air, and when you come back, if you wanna be productive, try working on some stuff for when you get your channel back. Work on merch, your next video, something. And if you can't do that, start playing through a video game, or pick up a TV show, or a series of movies to watch. Don't let yourself sit around and do nothing but think about this nightmare you're dealing with with, trust me, it will only make things worse. And just to add on top of everything else, I also received a response email from Google this day for one of the forms that creator support team asked me to fill out. And it literally said that they don't have enough info to give me my account back, follow this link and fill out this form again. And this is literally the same link as the last two they gave me, nothing different. They just told me to go fill it out again or create a new account. Are you serious? Go create a new account? Day three, I tweeted out this email that I got and how much of a joke it is. And finally, all my other bigger creator friends started to step in when they saw how poorly YouTube was treating me. And would you guess who slid in my DMs again? That's right, star of the show, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube. Round of applause? Nope. That's fine. They literally came into my DMs just to say to check in with creator support for updates. Another DM that wasn't helpful. Thank you, YouTube. That's who I've been trying to talk to for the last three days. I would have loved an email to talk with the internal team or something maybe. But back to the emails. So I sent over the same email that I was talking to them with and told them to contact me right here where we've been talking for the last few days. And I also shared with them another smaller creator's email that someone showed me had been hacked at the same time. So I just DM'd her and sent her info straight to the support team so she didn't have to go through all that I went through trying to get a hold of YouTube. But after getting that email from Google saying to just create a new account, I lost it. I tried to email creator support just to make sure they were actually still helping me and that they knew my situation and no response. I went ahead and told them that if they needed any information that could help them prove that the account was mine or just to speed up the process to let me know or ask me whatever they needed and I would tell them anything. Three hours later, no response. I figured it couldn't hurt to send over all the old account recovery information I was using just so they could cross-reference it with the logs of what it used to be, just so they could know I was actually the original account holder. And literally the next email, they said they escalated the issue and internal teams would be reaching out. And then they said, reply to the internal team with some proof that the account is mine and it would speed up the process. Well, you know what? Three days and the internal team still never reached out to me, so I'm going to send it to you guys instead. But you never specified what was considered proof of ownership, so I started looking around. I found out that if you go to your Gmail and type account disavow in your search bar, it will bring up the email for each time you create a Google account. So I took screenshots of the email saying, hello, you just created this account and sent that to the support team along with a security alert saying that I linked my second account as the recovery email for my main. And literally within 40 minutes, I received my first email from the mysterious internal team with a button to reset my password for the hacked account. They never asked me any questions or even said, hi, we're the internal team. All they said was, here's your account back. And that was the moment that I knew everything was gonna be okay. I changed my password and the hackers were signed out of all devices along with the recovery email and phone number being removed. Then internal also sent over two more links, both of which I'll put in the description. These are for any creator to use. The first one, link four, is just to update all of your recovery options. Make sure you have an active email and phone number for account recovery. And link five is like a security check. This will 
will give you little things to help protect your account, like two-step verification, make sure that's turned on with the Authenticator app, by the way, that's way more secure than text messages. And then shortly after, I received this email from Creator Support saying, I don't need to send any more proof. I can go ahead and recover the account so they can start working on channel recovery. They also sent these links for account security. The only new one that I haven't showed you yet is this one, link six. This will take you to Google's advanced protection program. I wasn't able to set it up yet, couldn't figure out how to get it on my phone, but if you get their physical security key, it looks like a little USB. Apparently this is Google's most secure form of protection. This includes requiring the physical key to log into your account anytime you need to log in. Someone can have your password, but without this key, they still can't get in. And for $25, I might have to get myself one and try it out, especially after going through this nightmare. So I went back to emails and I was asking creator support how to best contact them in case YouTube's Twitter team doesn't see me next time or it doesn't see any smaller creators who needs their help. And they sent me this link. This is a link to contact creator support, link seven. I don't know why I'm including it because if your account is hacked, get this, and you don't have access to your account anymore, you can't use this link. This requires you to be signed into your YouTube account to contact creator support. Sounds easy enough, right? Just have a second Google account. Nope, you must be signed into an account that is part of the YouTube partnership program. Meaning you can only contact creator support if you happen to have at least two YouTube channels that are monetized and one of them is currently not hacked. Can you believe this? What kind of a fix to a problem is that, YouTube? There is literally nothing you can do except for tweeting at YouTube's Twitter and asking them to send your case to creator support, who will then send your case to internal affairs. To best protect your account, please make sure you've got the two-factor authentication set up going through the Google Authenticator app on your phone. Make sure you've got a recovery email and phone number set up. Also, this is my first time mentioning it, but go follow link number eight and get yourself a copy of your account's backup codes. Write these down in a notebook, maybe take a picture of them on your phone if you don't back up your phone's photos to a cloud or any online hackable service, but having these codes is a way to get back into your account if you can't use the email or the phone number. Although I'm not sure if the hackers can change the codes once they're in the account, making your codes not valid anymore, that would kind of suck. But there's a bunch of other small things you can do in Link 5 to help make your account more secure. But I think this is the biggest thing I've heard of is Link 6, the Google's advanced protection program. Get yourself a $25 physical key and put it somewhere only you will regularly have access to. And if for some reason this happens to you and you get hacked and you aren't able to use your account recovery options, First off, if you have a second account that's part of the YouTube Partner Program, by all means, use Link 7 and reach out directly to Creator Support, lucky you. If you're like the other 95 to 97, 89% of creators who don't have a second account partnered and ready to go, use link number one to fill out the account hijacked form and someone should respond by email, hopefully in a few days. Apparently this goes to Creator Support, so definitely do this next. After that, I would try tweeting out to Team YouTube on Twitter with a screenshot of some proof of what's happening and and then get every ounce of support you can to go interact with that tweet and pray to the Twitter gods that YouTube decides to respond. And don't forget, the bigger the YouTubers that you get to help you, the faster you'll get your account back. Next, you'll wanna go use link nine to go fill out this form for Internet Crime Complaint Center. Give them all the information and screenshots you can of what happened. This is the FBI's internet division that handles hackers and online scammers and whatnot. Fill this out so they're aware of what happened and they can look into everything on their end, especially if you're like me and your YouTube channel is your business slash source of livelihood and income. And then as far as I know, you've done as much as you can. Either try to get more people slash big YouTubers to support you tweeting team YouTube. And if they respond, let them know what happened and ask them to expedite your case to creator support. And when you're emailed by creator support, just upfront, give them all the proof you have that the channel is yours because that's what they need, but they're not going to ask for it. And if you've done all you can on Twitter with no luck, just keep going at it. While you're waiting for someone to get back to you on that hijacked account form you filled out earlier, turn notifications on for Team YouTube and comment on every single reply and comment they make until they help you out. Then after that, I want you to go drink a glass of water, put your shoes on and go for a 15 minute walk. Then when you come back, maybe work out or do something you find fun like drawing or gaming or find an anime or a TV show to watch. Do something with all this time you have and most importantly, please take care of yourself. I know it's hard, eat good, get a good night's rest and then rinse and repeat and do it the next day. I really hope this helps. It was hell for me, a creator's worst nightmare. So I hope giving you access to everything I struggled to get helps cut away some of the stress for you and helps you speed up the process of getting your channel back. 
I really wish YouTube had a better way to help creators dealing with this issue. The hijacked form is nice and all, but I feel like if I didn't have my friends backing me on Twitter, they would have dragged their feet and taken a week or two to help me out. And that's not helpful. YouTube needs a form that asks for all the information the creator can give them proving it's their account. Any old passwords, any emails or phone numbers that were linked to recovery options, screenshots of them creating the account, anything that's solid evidence that only the owner of the account would have that they would never make public. There needs to be some way to contact the team when you're locked out of the account. I'm baffled they've been operating as long as they have and there's still no consistent way to deal with issues like these. We have to resort to campaigning on Twitter and hoping the Twitter gods bless us with a response from Team YouTube and I can't believe that, that's ridiculous. Now just in case something like this ever happens again, I want to be a little more prepared and have my audience in more places than one. Please make sure to go subscribe to my second channel. I'll try to post a video on it soon. I'm not sure if I'm going to do gaming or personality based videos or what there, but I'll figure it out soon. And also I just started streaming on Twitch. Come say hi. We're going to be hanging out and streaming throughout the month. And I would love to see you in chat. And now merch and Patreon, I'm so excited about. I'm going to be doing a proper video announcing both of them soon, but I told myself last month I would launch them today, December 1st. So I'm not going to let this little setback of being hacked prolong this any further. So officially for the first time ever, I'm finally launching my Patreon today. You can come and support me and get all these amazing rewards and perks and bonuses and private access to me where we can become pen pals or play some games together and so much more. And I've been wanting to make my own merch for so long now and I can't believe it's finally here. I have so many cool ideas for cool merch designs and a lot of neat art that I've been working on collaborating with to make some cool stuff, so please go check it out. As of now, each design will be available for only three weeks, and then after that, it'll be gone forever. So make sure you cop it while you can because they'll be cycling out each month. And don't forget to look at the sizing charts, please, for each of the shirts. Some are different than the others by a lot, so just wanna make sure you get the right fit. Um, I just took the last two days to take a little road trip up to Georgia to visit their aquarium and just get out of my own space. The last few weeks have been a little rough and I just needed a little break, a change of pace from dealing with everything and it really helped out. I was able to stop worrying about everything for a few days and just relax and have some fun exploring. I also got to visit the gardens up there. They decorate the entire space with Christmas lights each year and it's the most magical thing I've ever seen. I came last year too and it's definitely become one of my new favorite Christmas traditions just such a cool experience all around. I love getting to see everything change colors and get cold because Florida doesn't do that. Our trees just stay green and cold for us is like 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, the time away really helped me mentally. It gave me a little reset. Super thankful for that, but I'm happy to be back now. So thankful to get the channel back. Please be safe on the internet, secure your stuff people, especially if you're a creator and have more to lose. But I hope this video helped out. Please consider subscribing if you're not already and come talk to me in the comments. I missed you guys while I was gone. But with that being said, I will see you all soon with another video. And until then, I will see you in the comments. Peace.